Hello, this is Fernando coming to you from beautiful Geelong, Australia with the ongoing series on how to grow your network marketing business online. And today I'm asking the question, what are the challenges faced by women specifically working full-time jobs, trying to grow a network marketing business from home? Now I said women working full-time jobs, not working women. I thought it was important how <laughs> I set that up. but. What do I know, right, about women trying to build a business when I'm not even a woman myself, right? I'm a, I'm a guy, I'm a bloke, as we say here in Australia. What do I know and what qualifies me to talk about that? Well, that's a good question. So um, if you follow me for a while, you'll know that I've coached close to 4,000 people and uh, surprise, surprise, most of those people are happy in women. And so I've got a very good sense of first-hand experience as to what the challenges are. And if you're a female entrepreneur and you're trying to build your business online, you may resonate with some of these challenges. So we're going to talk about what the challenges are and then what you can do about it to help you build your business online. Okay. So first challenge is most uh, women that are working full-time jobs, well, number one, you don't have a lot of time, right? And you think about uh, the commitments that, that working women have, uh, women that are working full-time jobs, you have a job that you go to. If you have family, if you have children, if you have a partner, you come home and then you've got other commitments at home, whether your spouse or your partner helps you or not, there are still things that need to be done. And so typically there's not a lot of time. If you're working a professional job, like a white collar job that requires longer than your 40 hour days or 40 hour weeks, sorry, are long days, then not only do you have little time, but then you may also find that you are lacking mental energy at the end of the day to invest into building your network marketing business, especially if you don't know what to do, right? If you're trying to just connect with people online. Then the other thing that comes up uh, for many women that I've spoken to, the challenge is you don't have a supportive spouse, a supportive partner. And so you've got, you've got the dream and you've got great products in your opportunity and you want to grow that but your, your partner, your spouse, you know, your significant other uh, don't believe that you really, it's worthwhile spending time doing that where you already have a job and you could spend time with them, maybe uh, time with the family, uh, doing other things. They might sense your frustration in knowing that you want more, uh, but you obviously you find yourself stuck. And so there's at least three different things, right, that, that uh, women that work full-time jobs find it challenging uh, to build the network marketing businesses. So how do you get your head around that? What can you do uh, to grow your network marketing business? Now, I've said this before that when people join companies, when they're joining, when they're invited by somebody to look at what they do, the first question that comes up is how much is it to buy the products and it's an auto ship every month. I think that's probably the worst question because that doesn't really mean you're going to grow a business or not. Most companies have got good products what you actually need to leverage yourself is transformation and duplication, right? Like you need to be able to teach. So let's talk about the time challenge. So the time challenge is that, and this is a whole mindset thing, right? Most people, women in particular, think that to grow your business from scratch, especially if you're gonna grow online, you need to take massive action up front. You know, it's gotta I've got to do massive action which means that I love my family, I love my kids, I love my job, but I have to go at this. So I'm going to lock myself for four or five hours a day. And if I can't do that, I'm going to do something in my spare time at work. I've got a lunch hour, I've got a morning break, or an afternoon break, maybe on the way home, I get to work on my phone, talk to people. Uh, if I can't do it during the day, some women are trying to squeeze in a, a Saturday. So now your Saturday, which is your family time, you haven't seen your kids all week, you're spending six hours, you know, in, locked in front of your computer trying to connect with people on social media, maybe attend uh, an event, you know, locally, you're going to a hotel meeting or some training, whatever, and you're just trying to do all this massive action thinking that massive action is actually going to give you the result that you want. And I can tell you from experience, massive action doesn't last because you get to a point where you just exhaust yourself and it just becomes too much and now you end up with overwhelm and you end up stuck and you end up frustrated uh, and then you just don't take any action, right? So that's the challenge that, that you face. What's, what's going to be a better thing for you to try and do is figure out how many hours can you commit to work in your business five days a week, just five days a week. Choose a number. And once you have that number, 
then put it on the calendar because here's the other challenge that I find uh, with you know women working full time jobs. Um, you feel that you have to do well. Number one, you think you have a business, but you don't actually have a business. You actually just have a hobby, and that might be hard for you to take. Uh, you might disagree with that, but let me define what a true business is. A true business is something that's commercial, that's profitable, and that works without you. So if you have to spend the time building it, connecting with people, training, developing, all that sort of stuff, you don't have a business, right? If you don't get a check unless you do those things. If you're chasing volume every month, you don't have a business. So if you don't have a business and you think it's more serious than a hobby, then at best what you have is a job. And that's great because now you've got a job that you go to, your normal day job, but now this one here is a second job, one that you're self-employed at. And if you treat this, this job that you're self-employed at, this, this opportunity that you're trying to build as a job, then you will schedule that in your calendar the way you'll show up if you work from home. Like many women work from home on the phones and stuff like that. They have to clock in, they have to do the hours, and they have to clock out. If you take that level of discipline where you allocate two hours a day or one, if that's all you can manage, but you do that every day, five days a week, and then you have a structure of what to do in that time, uh, and I'll share that in a minute with you that's going to help you, um, then you're going to have a plan. So your mental space is going to be a lot better. You're going to be able to manage your emotions because you can show up, you know what to do, you get on with it, and then you clock off, and then you go and spend time with your family, your kids or your spouse or whatever, right? Now, this is true for men too, but more so today I want to speak to women because I know there's a lot of women. Women make the larger part of network marketers out there in the industry and from my experience coaching so many women, you're struggling, right? You're trying to make ends meet and you're trying to you know, fit everything in and you just can't. Uh, and you don't have to have kids, or you don't have to have a family to experience this because you still have commitments and other stuff that you do, right? But for most women that are mothers or, you know, what, or grandmothers or whatever, this is what happens. As far as supportive um, partners is concerned uh, this is why community is so important for you you need to be in a community not just within your own company but you want to find groups of people that are entrepreneurs inside of the industry that you can come together and you can share and then you can get supported that way because you have to manage your own emotions what's interesting about this is that you're not going to get it in your business who you want you're going to get who you are and I've spoken about this before as well. So if you're finding that you're in pain and your vibration is low because your spouse, your partner's not supportive and you know that you need to spend time on the computer but they want you to go and manage the kids because they're tired as well and it's like it's your turn to look after the kids and you don't get that, if your vibration is low, you're not going to be very productive because as much as, you, as much as you can try and say the right things to somebody on social media, your vibration will be too heavy. And so you need to be able to manage those emotions, you know, those feelings in a group where somebody, you know, can share with you, have a sounding board, maybe have strategies as well, like some of what I'm sharing with you here today that will make a difference for you. Um, so there's a couple of things. I'm not sure if there's uh, duplication. So duplication, you need to understand how to duplicate, of course, um, and that's we don't have time to go into duplication strategies, but you do have to have a system for duplicating. Like your people that you bring on board should know what to do within the first hour, the first 24 hours, the first 48 hours, the first seven days, 30 days, 90 days, and a year. If they don't have that, if you don't have that, that's going to create a challenge for you. So you need to start to think about how do I duplicate, um, how do I you know, get people to do what I'm doing because – Part of your challenge is time, right? So you need to be able to leverage yourself. And you might be very good at sponsoring, recruiting people because you're a natural connector. You're, you're, a, you're a blue personality. You're the life of the party. You're happy to go out there. You don't care about rejection. You might be a red as well. You don't really care about rejection. That's all fine and well. But, you know, going frontline wide doesn't create uh, depth, which means that you're not going to get the long-term um, income that you want in the structure of the network marketing organization so there's a few things to help you hopefully why right? number one you have to commit the number of hours now from a transformation point of view you have to be willing to invest in yourself free training believe it or not is great but free training is not enough to help you win the game because free training only takes you so far and and when you invest in yourself it's not about the money you're handing over but it's about what it means for you. It's about you showing up. It's about you knowing that you've made a commitment. I can't tell you how many uh, women I've coached 
who have never really invested in themselves. And so when, they, when they're looking to invest in themselves, they're scared, they're terrified because all of a sudden they have to face this mirror, right? I, I often talk about the universal mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall. And you're looking at that mirror and you're like, am I worth it? Am I going to show up? What if it doesn't work? What if it does work? You know, I don't even know how I'm going to be if it does work because I've never really invested in themselves before. So, so this is all part of your challenge. This is all part of your transformation, you know, becoming the person that you have to be that's going to cost you to do the things you have to do to have the outcomes that you want. So commit the time, you decide the number, have a structure to work on that. If you don't have a structure, reach out to me in the message, just reply, Fernando, I want to know more about the structure and I'm happy to share with you some ideas on that that can help you um, to manage your time because you want to know how to do that. If you have uh, unsupportive spouses, then we can, you know, I can help you with that as well. We'll talk about how you can manage yourself. And, and that's it. So hopefully that makes a difference for you today. Just consider some of these things, um, you know, if you're still with your company and you struggled with it, but you're still there, then I want to just acknowledge you uh, for, you know, for your persistence. Obviously, you, there's a vision there. There's something great. Uh, and I can tell you there are thousands of people waiting for you to continue to figure this out so that you can be the answer for them to find what you know you've discovered is possible. You may not be achieving it just yet, but you know you're on your way. And as you start to impact these other women, men and women, but women predominantly, I would imagine, uh, if you're a woman trying to help women with with products, they're waiting for you. And now you've got a way to continue to grow, develop yourself, develop your business in a, in a way that doesn't conflict with everything else that you're doing consistently over time. Uh, there's a popping that takes place at some point uh, where you go to J-Curve. It's called the Slide Edge Principle. If you don't know it, um, you need to grab the book. I might drop the, the link here. But you have to trust that if you do consistent action, there'll be a point where you're actually going to pop. And you're going to get explosion because I call it a quantum leap. Because you, 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 it's like um, what do they call it? It's like critical mass. You know, there's a pop that happens. You build, 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 boom, off it goes. But if you try and do massive action, then you're just going to exhaust yourself, uh, and you only want to be able to sustain it for maybe a few days, maybe a month, but then that's it. So if you want consistent growth, take consistent action, challenge yourself, transform yourself, reach out, become part of a community. If you don't have a community and you want one, leave me a message and I'll share with you some of the communities that I'm a part of and how you can be part of those communities to have the support that you need to help you grow your business. I hope that makes a difference. Lainey, good to see you here. Susan, Brian, Yane, uh, Teresa, thank you for joining with me. Hope you guys enjoyed the message. Hope it makes a difference for you. Continue to grow. Don't give up on your goals. You deserve this. You're worth it. There are many people counting on you. If not you, then who? Think about that. If not you, then who? Uh, continue to show up. All right? Until we speak again, stay blessed, uh, and we'll speak soon. Bye for now.